Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. You know the man. You know who's here. And I am here with another advanced Stratomatic baseball game. And this one's going to be between the 19... Uh, what is it? 1959, I believe. 1959. Kansas City A's will be visiting the 1959 Boston Red Sox. The starting pitchers for today's game for the visiting Kansas City uh, Ro uh, Kansas City, not Kansas City Royals, but Kansas City A's will be Johnny Cooks or Cox. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's one of those two probably. In 1959, he was 8-12 with a 434 earned run average. And uh, on the mound for Boston will be Bill Mon Bouquet. And in 1959, he was 7-7 seven seven with a 414 earned run average. So we're going to be doing this game advanced. Hopefully it won't go 20 innings like my previous uh, advanced Stratomatic card dice game did. But... That's always a possibility because we are playing from an era where there was no such thing as a ghost runner on second. And I wish there never had been. But anyway, we are going to lead off the, um, the lineup for the Kansas City A's will be Bill Tuttle in center field, Russ Snyder in left, Whitey Herzog, the former manager, and we'll see another one too, um... At, in right field and then batting right after him is the other former manager Dick Williams and he'll be at second base then Hal Smith at third and uh, Ken Hadley at first Joe DeMaestri at shortstop Frank House will do the catching today and then Johnny Cook's batting ninth so let's get on with this game and that is a 310 he is a right-handed batter going up against a right-handed pitcher. Both pitchers are right-handed. And so uh, 310 against a righty is going to be a ground ball pitcher B. So he's out. And that brings up Russ Snyder. Russ Snyder gets a 411. He is a lefty on a righty, so uh, 411 is a ground ball first base X. The first baseman for the uh, Red Sox is a 4, and that is a 1, so you got to figure that's going to be a base hit. Um, I mean, I probably don't even have to look, but uh, we will and see what it is. First base 1 and 4 is a single double asterisk, so he is a board. He gets a single and uh, Whitey Herzog is up. And he gets a 4-8. He's a lefty and that is going to be a line out to first base. There's two down and Dick Williams is up. Dick Williams gets a 3-5 against a righty. That's going to be a ground ball shortstop. So 6-3. He is out. And the, uh, the A's get no runs in the first. We go to the bottom of the first. And uh, the batting lineup for the uh, Red Sox will be Gary Geiger leading off and playing center field. Frank Melzone batting second, playing third base. Pete Runnels will bat third and play second. Ted Williams, the splendid splinter, will be batting fourth and playing left field. Vic Wirtz will be the first baseman. Then Dick, I think it's Dick Gurner. Let's see. Yep, Dick Gurner uh, batting um, sixth and playing right field. Then Sammy White is the catcher. Really good catcher. Catcher one with an E4 rating. And then uh, Dick Budden, the shortstop. Will bat ninth and Bill Mon Bouquet batting, or, or the catcher bats eighth and then Mon Bouquet, the, the pitcher batting ninth. So here's Gary Geiger. He gets a 5 9 and against a right handed pitcher, that is going to be a single. So Gary Geiger with a leadoff hit. 
Frank Malzone is the batter with one aboard, and that's a 6-12. He is a righty, and that's going to be a fly ball right field. C, one away. That brings up Pete Runnels. Pete Runnels, you might remember from uh, Washington, I think. Washington uh, Senators fame. I think he was on the Senators at one point. 5-8, and uh, that is going to be a ground ball, second base A, and that's a double play. So that's a 4-6-3 double play, and the Red Sox go very quickly, and they don't do any damage. We go to the top of the second, where Hal Smith will greet Bill Monbouquet, and that is a 6-9. He is a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a double. He rips a double down the line. Hal Smith with a big hit. And Kent Hadley, the first baseman, is up. And uh, let's see, what is he at bunting? He's a D, so they're not going to bunt with him. They're just going to let him hit. And that knocked him right off second. That is a 3-9, though, against a righty. And that is going to be a fly ball B. One away. Fly ball to um, right field. That brings up Joe DeMaestri with a man at second now and one out. And knocked him off again. 6-8 is going to be a uh, single double asterisk and knock in a run. So the A's strike first. And that brings up Frank House. Frank House gets a 3-9, and that is going to be a home run. Home run. Frank House gone, and Mondouquet in a lot of trouble here. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And that brings up the pitcher, uh, Johnny Cooks. And that is a six. I just like saying kooks. So we're going to go with that. And he is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a double. So they're all over Mon Bouquet. I don't know what's going on here. But this is crazy talk. Bill Tuttle is up. There's only one out in the inning. Man at second. And he gets a 1-5. And that's a walk. So he's going to walk. And that brings up Russ Snyder. Two on and only one out. And that is a 3-3, three, three, which is going to be a ground ball to second base, A, and a double play. So the 4-6-3 double play mercifully gets um, Boston out of the inning, but not before the A's have scored three runs and threatened to score a few more while they were at it. That brings up the splendid splinter in the Boston second. Ted Williams going up against the Coop Man. And that's going to be a 5-6. And that is going to be a pop-out to first base. Now, I want to point out, uh, this was an injury-plagued season for Williams. He only had 272 at-bats, and he only hit 254 that year. So, he was out, and Vic Wirtz is the batter with one down. And that is a 3-4, and that's going to be a ground ball pitcher A. So he is out. And Dick Gerner is up. And he gets the 3-4, and that is going to be a ballpark single. And uh, I rolled an 11, and he is a right-handed batter. So in Boston, that means that's a single. So Gernert gets a hit. Keep him alive here in the second. And Sammy White, the catcher, is up. And he gets a 2-5. And that is going to be a double... No, it's going to be a single double asterisk. Single double asterisk. And there are runners at the corners with... Um, I think there is two down. Yeah, there's two down. And Don Button is up. And he gets a 2-6. And that is going to be a um, strikeout. So Budden strikes out, 
and that gets them I guess Boston no runs they came close but they uh, no cigar on that one and Whitey Herzog is the batter one of our two managers that's in the Kansas City lineup and he gets a 6-5 lefty and that is going to be a walk Mon Bouquet is terrible today that brings up Dick Williams, the other manager. And they're probably arguing with each other over strategy here. But it's a 4-9. And uh, he is a righty. And that is going to be a single. So, the first two guys reach. And they're former managers. Still probably arguing with each other. And Hal Smith is up. And he gets a 2-7. And that is a walk. And Mon Bouquet is... <laughs> He's terrible, people. He's terrible today. And uh, there's going to be, there has to be some action in the, uh, in the Boston uh, bullpen. And it's going to be Mike Fornalius. Might as well be. I mean, he was right on top and he can pitch a lot of innings. So Kent Hadley is up. He gets a 512 or 112 and against a righty and that's going to be a hit by pitch plus injury but the injury is a nine let's see what happens with that uh that's going to be two games so hadley is out but the hit by pitch forced in a run we're just, just going to have to remember that he was hit by a pitch well actually we do need to put in a pinch runner for him right now so um we will go try to find a guy that can play um, first base, which really should not be hard at all. Yeah, they'll bring in Zeke Bella. Zeke Bella is going to come in and pinch run for Hadley, and DeMaestri is the batter with the bases still loaded. And still no outs. Or no, wait a minute. Um, yeah, and still no outs. And that is a 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven, five, seven against a right-handed batter is going to be a single double asterisk. And that knocks in two runs. So two more runs are coming in. And... Uh, Yeah. So that's three runs. I've got that as three runs this uh, this inning with Frank House up. And um, he gets a 6-3. He's a lefty. 6-3. And that's going to be a ballpark single. And he is a left-handed batter. And that is going to result in a single one asterisk. So another run comes in. And that's four runs that have come in now. And uh, that's going to be it for Mon Bouquet. Mon Bouquet is leaving the game. And we're going to bring in Mike Fernalis. He is a righty. And that brings Johnny Cooks up to the plate with two on and nobody, still nobody out. And 5-7. That is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. And um, their second baseman for Boston is a four. That is a four. So you got to believe that's a hit. And it, in fact, is a single double asterisk. And another run comes in. Johnny Cooks with a base hit. Knocks in the uh, fifth run for Kansas City just in this inning. Just in this inning. And uh, Bill Tuttle. 311, that's going to be a ground ball second base B. So it's a fielder's choice over here, but a run scores. And that's only one out. And now, Russ Snyder is up. 
and he gets a 4-5. He is a lefty, and that's going to be a line out to the shortstop. That's two down. And now Herzog up for his second time this inning. And he gets a 1-4, and what is this crazy crap? That's going to be um, a... What is that? A, a double. That's going to be a double and knock in. No, it's not going to knock anybody in. But it will move the runner to third. And Dick Williams is up. Dick Williams with runners at second and third. Two down and a 2-7 against a righty. And that's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in two runs. This is crazy. This is the craziest. Well, I know this is not going to be, at least we know that it isn't going to be a, uh, this isn't going to be an extra inning game. There's no way in, in God's green creation. Hal Smith gets a 6-7. And against a righty, that is going to be a single double asterisk. It just keeps coming. The greatest hits just keep coming. And uh, Ken Hadley. I don't think the A's probably ever had a game like this in 1959. No, it's not, it's Zeke Bella, actually. 6'5", and he is a right-handed batter, and he's going to get a double and knock in another run. So this is, uh, I'm just going to write Bella over this, because it doesn't really matter. But anyway, single, and then another run comes in. This is, uh, I can't believe this. Oh, yeah, we didn't want to take the guy off there. So, um, Joe DeMeister, I mean, it doesn't even matter who's batting. 2-7 against a righty. And uh, finally, mercifully, this is over. It's a line out to shortstop. So, Frank House gets a line out. And the A's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's eight, nine, one, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They got twelve total. Eight, yeah. No, nine. They scored nine. They scored nine that inning, and they have a 12 nothing lead going to the bottom of the, the second. And uh, this is going to be, the batter is going to be the pitcher, Mike Fernales, but, you know, it might as well be. I mean, they're down 12 nothing. 6-6 six, six for a right-handed batter is going to be a pop-out to short. to lead off the third for the pitcher, and then that brings Gary Geiger. Gary Geiger gets a 4-11. He is a lefty, and uh, that is actually going to be a... Uh, is that a home run? No, wait, it's a ballpark homer. He's a left-handed batter, and in Boston, a left-handed batter gets a home run. One to five, it is still. That's a home run, Gary Geiger. And I don't know if any of you have ever heard the story that Bob Costas tells about playing a game with his with his cousin. But he pinch hit Gary Geiger. And Gary Geiger had a terrible card, but he had a home run. He had a couple of home runs on his card. And he was down by he was down by like a run or something. He had two runners on, something like that. And Gary Geiger came up and hit a home run that won the game for him. And and Bob Costas says to this day, if you go up to my cousin and say the name Gary Geiger, he might he might have uh, might cause some twitching. <laughs> Frank Malzone is the batter, and uh, that was a great story. And he gets a strikeout. So there's two down, and uh, Pete Runnels is up. And that's a 6-9 lefty, and that's a single. And it's not like Kooks is a great pitcher, but you got to believe he's not going to give up 12 runs. Ted Williams gives he gets a 2-7, and that is a walk. And Kooks is like, shh, what are you doing? So uh, Vic, Wirtz, Vic Wirtz is the batter, and he gets a 3-8, and that is a single to left field. 
of course they need base runners and runs they don't need to score this one particular run so they are going to um, hold up the runner with the bases loaded and two down and Dick Gurner up and he gets a 3-7 against a righty and that is going to be a fly ball center field so they finally do get out and they only get one run it's 12 to 1 top of the fourth inning as we go to the top of the fourth and uh, Frank House is the batter for Kansas City no no he isn't nope this is Johnny Cooks because he lined out last time I think it looks like Johnny Cooks with a 210 and that's a walk you cannot make this up all right <laughs> So he walks to lead off the top of the fourth and brings up Bill Tuttle. The Boston pitching has been horrible today. 1-8. That is going to be a single. Single one asterisk. Two runners on. Nobody out. And Russ Snyder gets a 5-4. He is a lefty and that is going to be a catcher card. And that is a catcher 15. Uh, catcher card 15 and he is a he's a one yeah he was he was the good catcher that's a foul out so that's one down and Whitey Herzog up Whitey Herzog gets a 610 he is a lefty and that is going to be a fly ball to center. The center fielder is a two. That is a two. Let's see what that does. That gets them a single double asterisk and a run scores. That you, I mean, you want to tune in at least and stay tuned in just to see how many runs Kansas City scores off of the Boston pitching. Um, and uh, Dick Williams now is up. And he gets a 6-6. He is a righty. And that's going to be a single to center field and score another run. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? This is some real pretty shit now, man. Al Smith is the batter. And he gets a 4-11. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball first base. X, the first baseman for Boston, is a 4 that is a 17. That mercifully might be an out. 17-4 is a ground ball C. It moves the runners to second and third with two outs. And brings up Zeke Bella. And Zeke Bella gets a 5-7. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball second base. The second baseman is a four that is an 18 and that might actually be an out and it is a ground ball B and they get two more runs and so now they lead 15 to 1 and we go to the bottom of the fourth bottom of the fourth and Sammy White is the batter and he gets a 2-9 and he gets a strikeout. Sammy White with the K. Boot Button is up. Don Button. He gets a 3-9. That is going to be a uh, fly ball to left field. And they're going to let the pitcher bat here, uh, Fornair, Fornalis, because he had 77 innings pitched in 1959, which is significant for a just relief pitcher. And, I mean, they're down by way too many. And that's going to be a 6-12 for a right-handed batter as a fly ball right field. So no runs come in for Boston in the fourth. And we go to the top of the fifth, and Joe DeMaestri is up. Joe DeMaestri getting a 5-9. He is a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. Maybe he can get the uh, inning, one, two, three here. Frank House. Frank House gets a 6-5. Nope, no, no such luck. That's going to be a double. He rips a double. 
Johnny Cooks gets a 2 6. Now that is going to be a strikeout. And there's two down, and uh, Bill Tuttle up. Bill Tuttle with a 6 8, and that is a walk. Bill Tuttle walks and gives way to Russ Snyder. Russ Snyder gets a 4-8, and he is a righty, and that's a fly ball center field B. So, uh, he didn't get them 1-2-3, but he did get them out of the inning without any runs allowed. Gary Geiger for Boston is the batter, the leadoff man. And he gets a 2-2, which is going to be against a righty, is going to be a walk. So Geiger is aboard. Here to lead off the Boston fifth. Frank Malzone gets a 3-11, and that is a ballpark home run. Probably not going to happen, though. He is a righty. Boston righty uh, is 1-8, so now it's a, it's a fly ball instead. One away, fly ball to um, fly ball to left field. So he gets an F7, and that brings up Pete Runnels. There is one out. And he gets a 1 6 against a righty, and that is going to be a double. Pete Runnels ripping a hit. Boston trying to score some runs. They got the splendid splinter up with runners at second and third and, uh, and one out. And that is a 3-7. Three, 3-7 seven. Three, seven against a righty. It is going to be a ground ball. Second base A. Nobody scores on that, I don't believe. So that's going to be a 4-3. And Vic Wirtz is up. And that is a 3-7. And that is going to be a ground ball first base A. So, uh, ground ball, first base, and no runs come in for Boston. Almost, they almost scored a run. And we will take Fornalis out now because he's pitched enough. He's gotten his butt beat in a little bit too. And so, he's probably had enough. And they will go to Leo Keeley. So Leo Keeley is going to be the new uh, Boston pitcher. Of course, that means he'll be coming up pretty soon, but in the lineup. But I don't at this point. I don't think that matters. We go to the top of the sixth inning with Whitey Herzog up six four. He is a lefty, and Keeley is a lefty. So six four is going to be a fly ball to center. The center fielder is a two. That is a four. Let's see what that is. 4-2 is going to be a fly ball B, one away. So Herzog, who has been a fire in the face of Boston all day long, gets out. And that brings up Dick Williams. And that is a 5-11. He is a righty. And uh, that is going to be a ballpark single. Probably is going to be a hit. He is a righty, I believe that is. It is. He gets a single. So Dick Williams gets a board. He's been a board a lot today, too. Hal Smith. No, not Hal Smith. Yes, Hal Smith. Hal Smith comes up. He gets a 2-8 against a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball third base B. So he will take... Uh, that's a fielder's choice, and he is now at first base. And gives way to Zeke Bella. And Zeke Bella gets a strikeout because he's going up against the lefty so no runs for Kansas City we go to the bottom of the sixth with Dick Gernert the batter against Johnny Cooks who is cruising has only given up one run so far 6-5 for a righty um, is going to be a fly ball center field one away see what the thing is, is I'm rolling all these um, I'm rolling all these 6'5", 6'4", 6'6", 6 and the previous pitchers had a lot of, for Boston, had a lot of hits in that place. So you got uh, White is up and he gets a 6'4", and uh, 
He is a righty. 6'4 is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is a four. And, uh, and the good thing about this blowout is that even if I make mistakes in this game, people see that I've made some mistakes, which I don't know if I have. Uh, there's no way it's going to cost um, Boston a, a win here. 6-4 on a shortstop is, um, or wait, on a 9. 9 and a shortstop 4 is going to be, oh, we got to look at his error rating. And he, that is... Let's see, where's Budden? Budden. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, wait, no, uh, short, no, he's a shortstop two. Shortstop two, nine and two is, well, it doesn't matter. We still do have to see uh, what his, uh, what his air rating is. Um, so it's Demaestri and his air rating is 34. So, 34 is going to be, uh, we have to roll the dice, the two dice. 8 is going to be an E1, so that's an error for the Maestri. Um, Alright, where are we now? Yeah, Sammy White got on by an error by the Maestri. And now Budin is up. And he gets a 2-9. Two 2-9 nine. Two nine against a righty is going to be a strikeout. That's two down. And the pitcher is up. And again, that's Joe Keeley, but they're going to let him pitch three, and they're going to let him hit, and uh, he's going to get a ground ball second base A. And uh, we've got no runs for Boston. We go to the top of the seventh inning, where Joe DeMaestri will, of Kansas City will be the hitter. And that is a 110 against a lefty, and that is going to be a double. He rips a double, the Maestri does. So he's up at second with Frank House up. And that is a 6-6 six, six for a lefty. And that is unfortunately going to be, um, it's lefty on lefty, and that's going to be a single double asterisk to knock in a run. And that brings up Kooks, because they're going to keep Kooks in. And that is a 4-5. Four, 4-5 five. Four, five for a righty. That is going to be a fly ball right field. B, two away. And uh, let's see, how many innings did Kooks pitch? He pitched 184 innings, so it's not like he couldn't go a complete game. We'll think about taking him out, but really right now we're not concerned about that, and neither are they. And Bill Tuttle is the batter, and he gets a 3-9 against a lefty, and that's going to be a pop-out to shortstop. So, uh, one run comes in, and it is now, what, 9, 12, 14, 15 to 1. 15 to 1 here. A really good game. And Gary Geiger, we're back to the Gary Geiger man, leading off. For Boston, he gets a 1-5 against a righty. That's a strikeout. And Melzone is the batter. Melzone gets a 1-9 against a uh, against a righty, and that's going to be a third base ground out to third base. Five to three, and Pete Runnels comes up. Pete Runnels gets a 4-5. He is a lefty, and that's going to be a line out to third. So, no runs for Boston there. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Keeley will pitch at least this inning. They don't want to burn out their... In real life, if this were a seasonal game, they wouldn't want to burn their bullpen. So they'll leave him in, and Russ Snyder is the batter. 
And Russ Snyder with a 2-2 against a lefty is going to be a ground ball, third base, plus injury in a 19. He is way gone. He is out. So uh, um, he was out, but we'll remember that. We'll just make the change in the bottom of the inning because he was out. Herzog is up with one down. He gets a 2-7 against a lefty, and that's going to be a walk. And Dick Williams is the batter. The managers have been really good today. 1-5 strikeout. That's two down. And... Wait a minute. It, uh, yeah, it is. And then uh, Hal Smith. Hal Smith with a 6-6. Six, six, and he is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball. Or wait a minute. That's going to be a pop out to short. Pop out short. No runs come in for Kansas City in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And they will now take Keeley out. They'll put in another pitcher. And... Uh, Yeah, well, they'll put in the guy that I can't pronounce his name, John Sitoris. I'm going to say it's Sitoris. He's going to be the new Boston pitcher. Oh, wait a minute. Ted Williams is up, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, when we go to the bottom of the, or the uh, top of the ninth, Sitoris will be the new pitcher for Boston. But right now, it's Ted Williams batting against Koops. And he gets a 1-5, and that's against a uh, righty. And that is going to be a line out to first base. One away, the splendid splinter. One down, and Vic Wirtz gets a 3-7. 3-7 against a right-hander is going to be a ground ball first base, A. Eh? And Dick Gernert. Gernert gets a 5-6. He is a righty. Um, and that's going to be a pop-out first base. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Line-out, second base. Line-out to second. And uh, that, there's no runs there. And uh, we go to the top of the ninth with Zeke Bella. The batter and he gets a 612. 612 is a strikeout. Yeah, that is a strikeout. Satoris strikes him out. Joe De Maestri gets a 5-4, and that is going to be a ballpark single possibility, but probably not. Uh, righty in Boston is a uh, single one to four and so he is out and uh, that is going to be a or no wait no that's a that is a single that is I was looking at the wrong ballpark so it is a single he does get a, a hit so there is one out with the Maestri at first base and Frank House up and he gets a five nine um, yeah, and 5-9 for a lefty is going to be a double. And that's going to put runners at second and third. With, uh, is there one down? I think there is one down, so yeah. And they will pinch hit for Kooks. They're going to pinch hit for Kooks and replace him in the bottom of the inning. And Ray Boone is going to come on and pinch hit. And he gets a 6-10. 6, -10, 6 -10, uh, for a righty. Um, he is going to be a uh, double. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it is. It's going to be a double and knock in two runs. 
So Ray Boone knocks in two runs. With a double. And Bill Tuttle is the batter, the leadoff man for Kansas City. And he gets a 110, which is going to be a line out to shortstop, and that's the second out. And two down, and Russ Snyder is the batter, and he gets a 6-7. And a 6-7, he is a lefty. Um, and that's going to be a ground ball second base C. So four to three, but they get two more runs right there. I'm going to add these up now. 12, 14, 15, 17. 17 runs because Boston is not going to get 16 right here, but Sammy White is going to be the leadoff hitter and he will be batting against a new pitcher for Kansas City because Kooks has to come out. wonder if they have a really terrible pitcher just to see what he would do. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put in, yeah, I'm going to put in uh, Tom Sturdivant just because I love to say that name. So Tom Sturdivant is the new Kansas City pitcher. And Sammy White is batting. He hits a 5-7. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for Kansas City is a 4. That is a 10. So let's see what that results in. Nope, we have to go look at the air rating. And that is the air rating for uh, Dick Williams. And his air rating at second is 41. So we're going to roll the dice. And a 10, is a, a 10 on a 4, E41 is going to be an E, air one. So he gets a one base air. And um, that was Sammy White that got on by the air. Yep. And Budden is the new batter. No outs. That's a 4-5 for a righty. And that's going to be a ground ball. Oh, wait a minute. No, ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is a 2. And um, that is a 10. So shortstop 10 and 2. Nope. Got to look at the uh, air rating. So that is going to be Demaestri. And Demaestri is a 34. We'll roll the dice again. That is an 11. And a 34. And that is going to be a ground ball A. So that is a double play there. And I think that that... Nope, nope, nope. That's a... <coughs> DP. And then the pitcher is up. They will pinch hit for him. Just because that would be the smart thing to do. Pumpsy Green is going to pinch hit. And he gets a 1-7. He is a switch hitter, so he would be batting left. And uh, that is going to be an out. It's going to be a line out to third base. And that is the game. With the final score, the Kansas City A's of 1959 scored 17 runs. And the Red Sox of 1959 scored one and lost 17 to one. That's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.